Hey guys, what's up, man? Wolf here. I'm just here chilling at work again. You know what I'm saying? Ma, first off, I want to apologize for not putting out any body song videos for the week. Because it was something I wanted to talk to you guys about. I just didn't do it this weekend. I'm busy with a baby and then I left out and stuff like that, you know? So, yeah, I didn't, I didn't have no time to do no body song videos for you. And, I still waiting for like my um two new body songs to come out for you to, to, to finish ship to me. They're right now, at the moment right now, they are uh, they in Canada waiting to come down so I can't wait until they get those two for you. Oh, plus a train I believe. That's going back to me talking about the um the Falcon, the original design body song. Yeah. I went to order a fixed blade. I mean a fixed blade um I want to order a train a blade for that knife. But yeah, I had to order a train a blade for the knife. Cause I really like that body song a lot, man. I wish I get the train first, but hey, it's good to get a train a blade and a live blade so you can swap out at any time you feel like, right? Anyway, let me get into the video. And this is just a regular knife video about another karambi. Because y'all know me, martial arts and whatnot. So the type of knife I have here, this is another Kanku knife. Or slash Massalon knife right here I don't remember the, the number for this one but this is another nasty bastard right here add my skull appendage marking the centipede on it let's add that add that charm for real let's get into this nasty bad boy here man ah I don't really have any like specs laid out you know something I really need to start getting my specs and shit together for real you know but anyway, let's just go straight into the blade, man. So this is a three-inch blade flat, I believe. Straight tanto, tanto blade, karambit style, really straight, straight profile, straight to the point. I call this knife heart eater, literally. Let's just look at let's just look at that blade, man. You can't see this blade can't find the heart with ease. Got a nice little ring. Very sharp out the box. Very, very quick, very light in the hand. Compared to the other one that you guys are see first. This one, well it is heavier than that one for real. But this here would obviously more dangerous I mean it's not as stealthy as the first one but hey this Kanku knife here you can find it on Amazon just like all most Kanku knives for like about 25 bucks you can get this one for and this, this is just a nice EDC carry man it's not double edged nice substantial thickness in the spine and really tapers down into that nasty vicious point which is not too too narrow on the point it's not too too point it's not too too thin to say that it will break off as easy being that it's made out of d2 steel and you know d2 2 steel pretty tough for real and some jimpings in the back here you see the whole thing forward grip. I kind of feel weird in the forward grip for real, but I guess with practice, I guess you could get used to that for real. Where, where it really shines at is in the back out grip or the reverse grip. So we have one. Look at the profile from the back. Real long, real scary, real shiny, real terrifying little knife here, boy. Uh, I think it weighs about. Uh, one ounce about one ounce or so I need to get my shit together when it comes to like I said earlier for real you know. overall is about seven inches overall three and five inches of uh, blade that is terrifying this is long enough to reach intestines and organs and shit like that so yeah, this, this is a really nasty one here, man. This is really nasty. If... Good idea when it comes... 
good idea when it comes to having um, straight blade karambits is that they're so easy to use without, despite the curve, you know what I'm saying? Because it's so natural when it comes to this stabbing, thrusting, you can still slash with it or mainly stab and thrust and stuff like that. This come more natural so that's if you feel more comfortable um, using straight blade karambits for really. When it comes to karambits, which one I would choose? Well, on a regular daily basis, I normally do carry a straight blade karambit more than a, um, a curved one. It's because mainly I'm picky when it comes to curved karambits. My curved karambits must be doubled edge. That's just a pet peeve of mine because it only makes sense make you want to slash off the back then slashing forward slash and slash it just makes more sense unless it's a folder then that's a different story but when it comes to tanto or straight blade style karambits really it depends on the shape of the blade well i would like it to be double edged in that but when it's a tanto it doesn't have to be double edged if it's a leaf shaped blade no leaf shapes come out then they come in like that that has to be double edged for me that's a pet peeve for me man if it's a one cliff style blade 50-50 mm, it doesn't really have to be double edged if it ain't it isn't if it is awesome but on all in all this is just a simple talk for me i need to get more you know used to um talking about regular knives too, you know what I'm saying? So I can have all the specs layout, so I can tell you all the complete right specs, the weight and stuff like that. But I'm gonna do that next time, man. Next regular knife video, I'm definitely going to have everything all laid out here. But this is another Kanku knife. I don't remember the numbers. Kanku really need to start naming their knives. Them and Marcelon start naming your knives instead of just giving it numbers. That number shit just annoying for me, man. Name the knives. This is my personal name for this one, Heart Eater. Because this is definitely going to reach the heart. When in doubt. Very freaking easy. Remember the last one I show you guys? Well, it comes to what you feel comfortable in carrying and what all goes against goes with your state laws and stuff. Personally me, I don't really trip about state laws when I carry my knives, man. I carry what's I want to carry because I need to fucking protect myself without any questions asked. With me, it's apple pie. But fuck that. But you know, it's up to y'all to whether you want to carry or not. Feed for something long like this three inch blade, or the, well, I think that was a two inch blade that I had for the first one. This one will be all the rage and way more scarier for it. Now, the handle is just a regular neutral straight handle the handle is something i had to really get accustomed to because overall when it comes to combat knives i don't like a straight neutral handle i like some type of ergonomically sound handle so it could feel more secure in my hand if this knife didn't have a ring this is the type of shit i won't even look at because of this neutral handle it's too slippery i like something more ergonomically sound to like fit for the purpose but luckily for this ring keeps a knife in your hand right and you just you just gotta get used to a straight handle straight kind of round the handle is kind of round if you see that from the G10 you just gotta get accustomed to gripping them because it can have the tendency to roll like that or roll like that shit like this can happen but I mean it doesn't matter the ring is big enough way bigger than the type of rings that I really care for but it's fine I see why they made the ring this big made the ring this big so you could actually grip the bastard and even if it rolls the blade is still in function so I could see why they, they, they made it that big and make the handle wrong for you it's just they put the combinations right together because yeah they, 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 they did this right just get used to holding it well yeah that's it guys you know simple knife review again something for you guys to look at if you guys want to pick up if you guys want like 
a security backup or whatever the case is, an ADC to carry for self defense or whatever the case is, you want to protect yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing I'm all about. You know what I'm saying? You can look at this on Amazon, guys. Well, this Bior Black Wolf, be easy.